cycle in a tank, don't know how people do it so fast, ammonia, fishless, adding feeder fish, that's not a good idea. How did I get both of these tanks cycled so fast and added the amount of fish that I did without any casualties? You ready to figure it out? Let's go. Shall we begin? on YouTube, it's Jay Wilson, jwill07, Instagram, Twitter, Jay Wilson on Facebook, NorthfinUSA.com, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So today we're going to talk about cycling a tank. What I did, what I tried with the A-Round Nature Tank and the 150 gallon, and some of the other methods that can be used and some tips for utilizing those methods. But I also want you to stay tuned after the video because I've got a special announcement for some upcoming awesomeness. But cycling a tank. We all have to do it at one time or another, whether we're just starting in the hobby or we're adding our 500th tank to our fish room. So there's multiple different ways you can do this. One is the fishless cycle, which means you're adding ammonia, which you can do and it should not take you months on end or three, four, five, six weeks. It shouldn't take that long. And honestly, you should best be prepared for this because every single dosing is gonna be different People are gonna say, yeah, that's exactly what I use to cycle my tank, but they can never give you the, the instance that they did because chances are they didn't do it that way. They just think that's the best method because of what they read, but they have no real world implementation. And that's kind of the key to fish keeping is there's a ton of science and there's a ton of, I wanna give opinions out there, but there's no real world back knowledge to it, right? There's no real world implementation. So anything on paper can read what you want the outcome to be, but when it's implemented 100%, is that the exact outcome? And chances are in the fish keeping hobby, it's not because we all do things completely different based upon things we learn from either day one all the way to present day or what we just learned yesterday. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the fish list cycle. It's a great method. On paper, it's amazing. If you have the exact dose of ammonia per gallon of what you are doing, then folks do it that way. But it should not take you months to get through the nitrogen cycle. The second way is the feeder fish method or the throwaway fish method. I don't condone this in any way, nor do I think it should ever be used. And here's why. One, I don't think it's very humane. But two, you can introduce so much nasty to that tank before you even get the fish that you truly wanted. So it's not fair to the fish that you're putting in there to test out, and it's not fair to the fish that are gonna be put in there because, well, now you've just left them susceptible to anything because I'm telling you, you did not know the practices in which those feeder fish or those throwaway fish are bred. Three, there's the seeding method. Now the seeding method is probably, in my opinion, the best way that I've cycled a tank outside of the way I just recently tried. Now the seeding method is simple. You have a sponge filter or you have a canister and it's on an up and running stable tank and you remove that from the stable tank and you add it to the new tank. Just make sure that you have enough biological filtration ready for that reduced stress on your stable tank. And if you do, and you just added it because you were planning for the new setup, then perfect for you. You've done it the right way and absolutely fire it up with the seeded filtration media method. That to me is the best in my opinion because that is what's worked the best for me until now. Now before I do this, this is seriously in no way, shape, or form a plug for a product. I simply had it on hand and I wanted to see if it did exactly what it said it did. But I also want you to remember that I was prepared. I had a seated canister filter ready in case of a potential crash. If I saw any signs of stress, I was going to immediately intervene with the actual seated canister and forego what I was doing. So before I show you the product, which I'm sure you already know what it is, I had all the tanks up. I had their filtration ready from sump and I had two FX6s running. 
This has all Seachem Matrix. The Aeron Nature Tank had Seachem Matrix, the Fluval Biomax, I think is what it's called, and uh, Marine Pure. So that has three different types of media, which I don't know if it's working very well. It seems to, but I just had it all on hand, so I put it all in the sump. Here, I wanted to make sure that it was all Seachem Matrix, which you can also get Pond Matrix because it has a bigger surface for all of the bio. Now, the product that I did use was Stability by Seachem. I really like Seachem, regardless of the things that they go through with marketing and how they do things. Seachem to me makes a very well backed product that's been around for a very long time. API is another great one. I've also used Marine, uh, was it Marine Land Bio in a bag, um, but I didn't find it as, as robust as what stability is. So let me walk you through what I did. I literally added no seeded filtration to either of these tanks. I simply read the instructions from stability and that is how I started these tanks. Now I'm gonna read you the directions so that you can understand what I did. So stability will rapidly and safely establish the aquarium biofilter in freshwater and marine systems. So this isn't specific just to freshwater. The, it's thereby preventing the number one cause of fish death, which is new tank syndrome. Okay, not gonna argue with you there, but I don't know maybe if that's the number one cause, but we'll give it to Seachem. The new tank syndrome is the number one cause of fish death which is why stability is formulated specifically for the aquarium and contains, here's where they get all fancy, a synergistic blend of aerobic, anaerobic, and facilitative bacteria, which facilitates the breakdown of waste organics, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. The bacteria employed by stability are non-sulfur fixing and will not produce toxic hydrogen sulfide. Stability is completely harmless to all aquatic organisms as well as aquatic plants. Thus, there is no danger for overuse. Stability is the culmination of a nearly decade of research and development and represents the current state of art in natural biological management. So, Seachem is claiming that everything you need to cycle your tank is in this bottle and it will immediately go to work and not cause any adverse reactions to if there's already plants in there, if there's already living organisms in there, and if there is fish in there. Hence why you can use it to set up a tank. I did the same thing, so I started. It says shake well, turn off UV or ozone. So if you have a UV sterilizer, you need to turn it off. This is paramount because you will destroy everything that goes into the tank from this bottle. Use one cap full for each 40 liters. So 5 ml per 10 gallons. Shake, UV sterilizer off, 5 milliliters per 10 gallons. That's a lot for this bad boy. The first day with a new aquarium. So 5 ml, 10 gallons, first day, brand new aquarium. So that's what I did. Follow the instructions. Then you're going to use one cap full for each 20 gallons. So 5 mil for every 20 gallons. So it gets a little bit easier on the pocket for seven days, okay? So you're legit going to do this for eight days. Now this is where it gets kind of crazy and this is why I tested it. <clears throat> Fish and other aquatic species may be introduced at any time as long as your dose is maintained for seven days. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was freaking out a little bit because the Trophius and Gobi were not something I've ever messed with before. The, the shell dwellers that I'll get to next week are not anything that I've ever dealt with before. So I was a little nervous. Not saying that they're super fragile, but they're not as hardy as your Habs and Peacocks. And so I really kind of freaked out. Then I started to read a little bit more. For optimum biofilter performance, use one cap full per 20 gallons once a month or with each water change and whenever introducing new fish or whenever medicating an aquarium. Product shelf life is four years from the manufacturer date. See expiration below. Stability should ideally be used in conjunction with biological filtration such as Seachem Matrix. And for emergency ammonia control, 
you can use Seachem AmGuard. So let me kind of go over what I did. I followed the instructions to a T. The crazy part is, is I added all 28 fish, I think it was roughly 28 fish, almost 30 fish all at once, never put fish in there before, did not seed the filters, simply use stability, and I have a perfectly stable tank with no fish loss. So I have to be a believer in stability. I have to be a believer in what Seachem is talking about. Now remember, I also did this under optimum conditions. I did use Seachem Matrix because I've always used Seachem Matrix. And I have used stability before, but not in this real life scenario. I've done it to, to help aid in, in starting a filter with a seated uh, filtration uh, device, but I had never just used stability hands down. And I have to admit that without losing one fish, this product does exactly what it says it does. Now, the other thing that I used in conjunction with stability was I did use safe. I do put prime up there because prime and safe go hand in hand and it's whatever works better for you. There's a ton of debate out there, but ultimately safe and prime are for the average fish keeper and it literally comes down to preference. If you're still using prime, continue. If you love safe, continue using it as well. So I use safe and stability at the same time and folks, I couldn't be happier. Now I'm gonna grab the camera and just kind of show you the tanks if you didn't catch any of the other videos. And this will kind of be the first time I've put the A-Round Nature Tank with all the Shellys on video. And next week, I'll do a complete breakdown of what happened, where I got it, and what's in it. Does that sound cool? So Seachem Stability is awesome. I highly recommend in a pinch that you use Seachem Stability to jumpstart any brand new tank. And it wouldn't hurt to use it anytime you do a water change. Now, theoretically on paper, the ammonia fishless cycle is probably the best way to do it. But real world implementation from the average fish keeper, it's not that way. So my recommendation is if you want to use stability, that would probably be my go-to because hands down, it pulls all of the necessary thinking and aggravation out of it. If not, and you already have a tank sitting waiting, make sure you seed prior to and use the seeding method. All right. I hope you found a lot of this information, one, entertaining, and two, informational so that you can use it in your everyday fish keeping life. So I'm going to show you these tanks. I'm going to shut up. Stay tuned after the video for some really cool stuff. All right, let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Thanks for staying tuned till after the video. So I wanted to bring you a special announcement. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers. It's not followers, it's not fans, it's fish keepers and people that enjoy watching fish keeping videos together achieving a number of 15,000. And it's okay, it may not be a high number and it may not be a low number, but it's an achievement nonetheless. So of course, myself and my family are working diligently with people that would love to sponsor the 15,000 subscriber contest because, well, the contest king must deliver. We haven't done many contests lately because we believe it was getting saturated in the fish keeping hobby. 
And what we like to do is wait till we get to a nice momentous type occasion and then completely blow the roof off of it. But I wanted to give you some updates on where this channel has been and what we've done over the last four years. So over the last four years, myself, Northfin USA, and my family together with you have raised and given away nearly $20,000. That's, that's insane. You know, that's almost $5,000 a year through product, donations, raffle, and it's been to everybody from children that have no idea about fish keeping yet to fish keepers that were in need to research at the University of Pennsylvania through the Stuart M. Grant Foundation and ultimately to product back to you because product in your hands is simply amazing. It's like Christmas on a Wednesday in July when a package arrives and it's a brand new background or LED light from Marineland. It doesn't get much better than that. So I want to say thank you, not for following or subscribing, but thank you for joining me in changing the way YouTube fish hobby has been done. Because we've been doing contests for a long time and we've noticed that we've inspired a lot of other people. And that is something that is more important to us than doing it ourselves. So get ready for the 15,000 subscriber contest. Get ready for the next four years of epicness. Thank you for coming along on this amazing journey through the fish hobby. We've got some killer stuff coming up. I'm talking Northfin USA is about to get crazy. The ACA is coming up. The OCA is at the end of the year. We've got a brand new Lake Tanganyika tank, two of them, and we're just getting started with the fish keeping hobby. And we hope you're enjoying what you've been viewing. So thank you so much again. This is a very special thank you. And I couldn't be more blessed and happy to be a part of such an amazing community with such an amazing amount of people. You know what's next. Holla!